Okay, hey everyone. I just thought I'd jump on here. Sorry, there's been a lack of um, videos on the, the channel. I did take a bit of time off. Um, go visit some family and I, I do apologise if I don't sound the best. I'm um, recovering from a bit of the weekend sinus um, congestion. So I'm hoping that clears up soon. I'll be able to finish off a couple of videos I've got waiting to be done. Um, but yeah, one of the things I was doing today was going through a bit of the stuff from the Wellington Zine Fest and I thought I might do a bit of a an update on all the stock that's coming to my Etsy shop, uh, especially considering I do have a sale on at my Etsy shop for this next week. Uh, it's 20% off um, store-wide, excluding commissions. So the commissions won't be 20% off, unfortunately. Um, a lot of these items I'm going to show you in this video aren't on the store just yet, but just treat it as a bit of an update. So to start with, I will start with the items that are in the store currently. Um, and I will start with prints. So these are the prints that I currently have. I do have two sizes that you can choose from. I will have to make it a little bit lighter in editing. Just due to where I am right now, it's very overcast and it's not doesn't make for the best... Um, lighting, especially when I have the lights on overhead. Uh, these prints I've got here, I do believe are just a little bit smaller than A5 size. Um, so these are the large options. I print them here at home just with the laser printer. So these, these, well, you shouldn't be putting them in water anyway. Um, but a spot here and there shouldn't bother them too much. Um, I do I do like to clip the corners, so I haven't done these ones um, just due to time. Um, and these will come signed as well. So this one I forgot to edit out the, the watermark. The same with this one. But that's okay, you get you get double doubled double the signatures. Um, so those two are in the store already. You can pick one up. Um, I'll have to check now that I've got I do believe I definitely have the so this one is also in the store already. It's a print of um, an example of what sort of work you'll get if you commission me. So the original of this will be around $70. Um, I will have those offered at conventions and markets first, um, but they will eventually go up on the Etsy as well if you would like one. Um, if you would like the original of any of these, uh, just send me a DM um, wherever you do see this, so whether it be YouTube, Instagram, um, not sure where else I'll post this, but yeah, just DM me, um, Twitter even, and we can have a chat. They will be about $70, um, and that can include postage. We'll see. A rabbit. I think I've got him up on there at the moment too. Now these might be the first time that you guys are seeing these as prints, um, but these will also go up at the update. I love these birds. They're um, yellow-tailed cockatoos, Australian native bird. A dog. Everyone's best friend. And a little Tassie devil. These are cute little adorable buggers. So I'll have these ones, um, the other up now will go up shortly. Uh, so the next one I want to talk about will be, I guess while I'm on the mention of prints, um, I do have two print packs. Um, one is sort of, you get this black and white one, um, you'll get these as well with the purchase of a sketch zine. Um, so they're cool little just mostly Inktober's. <clears throat> and these will come signed as well. And I guess while I'm talking about the sketch scene, I'll pop that out here. So this, they will come with this as a bundle. Um, the bundle is... So this is my copy, obviously. Some of these are just a little faded, which I think I've fixed in the the other versions. And you'll also get some unique um, or signatures from the care of the printer. 
Um, so these are mixed color and black and white. Um, once these do sell out, though, I'm not reprinting these ones, uh, just for the simple fact that there's it's it. I almost I, I'm losing on printing these. Like it's it's over twenty dollars to get these printed, and yeah, I think I I will make them an e-zine, so you can also look out for those if um, e-zines are something more ebooks are more your thing. Um, so these are the prints that do come with a bundle with that zine as well. <clears throat> and these ones here are the coloured bundle. So it was just once again some of the better digital paintings I think I'd done that I th I thought would look really well, it's just something smaller, cheaper for you to add to your collection. This is one of my favourite ones. I like them all. I mean, I, w I wouldn't have made them as prints if I didn't like them. <clears throat> um, I guess since we've touched on zines, I might just go through the zines that I do have. I have everything laid out. Um, so something I did do in the lead up to the Wellington um, Newbie Zine Fest was a little Zine 101 course, um, which these here were made as part of it. Um, this one I'm not selling just because it's not um, it, it's not my own work. It's it's a fan zine. It's something I, I love this band. It was part of a big part of my childhood, and especially the the album Meteora. So hence why I've sort of made this. Um, if you mention Meteora in in your in the comments of your order, um, I'll pop one in there free of cost. I've only got about eight of those to give away. Um, I do definitely want to keep one for myself, obviously. <coughs> um, but yeah, I guess I'll go through these. So this is just a little fanzine. Um, all the original, none of the ponies are in here are from the show. <laughs> Um, they're all sort of my take on a few of them. Um, and this here is something, so I, I do love the Brumbies in Australia, the heritage sort of horses, and that was very, I like the fact that there's, well, of course I gravitated towards them when I found out there's heritage horses here in New Zealand, so I just did a, a bit of an informational zine about those. Um, for, more, for more information on those, you can um, <clears throat> check out the Society. Um, so just, yeah, look for those. Um, all the links are wikia will lead you to the right places. And for more information on those, if you are capable of obviously owning a horse here in New Zealand um, and have the facilities to hold a, a, a wild horse, uh, definitely look into getting them. Otherwise, yeah, you can adopt a horse. Um, and this is a little comic scene. So this is the fruits of... My thoughts at 2 a.m. Um, I think I got this finished really early. Yeah, there was a few late nighters. It's it's a fun little zine that basically outlines the, the course I did. Um, I won't lie that it probably will need revision. It's um, I haven't read it in full yet since those late nights, but I'm probably going to cringe at some point. Um, but we'll see. I'll go through it and say something about that when that happens. Um, I do have this cute little... It's full colour. It's called the raccoon scene. It's just it's just some little sillies I did as um, a secret Santa gift for a co-worker and I just... I really liked it. So, of course, I make a few more of them. <clears throat> now, the Inktober collection. I do... I would like these to be sort of a more permanent um, thing in my shop because, obviously, the monthly challenges... Are something I do like to do to try and keep myself being creative. Um, so in Toburg this year, I'm hoping to do the 30 days. <laughs> we'll see. I haven't done one full one yet. Um, Junicorn, I will get the ones for Junicorn up too. I'll have to look into that because obviously Junicorns, most of those are full colour. Um, and that is quite expensive. And I do want to keep those zines around $5 just to make them affordable for everyone. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll get into looking into those. A little more on Junicorn to come because I'll have a few stickers and stuff. Uh, meal prep, this is already in the shop, <clears throat> so you can pick up your own. Uh, meal prep does also include, so obviously when you buy this, you do also get the um, meal sheet, meal prep sheet, obviously. 
<clears throat> which looks like this. You'll be able to get that for free, the free printable from my shop. So I'll move on to the printables next. <clears throat> Uh, also ready in my shop is the Summer's Twilight, um, the zines. So you can get both of these, if you DM me, you can get both of these for $10. Um, otherwise, I think you'll have to double check on what I've got them listed as. Um, otherwise, if you buy them singly, they've got different costs just due to the number of pages they've got in them. Uh, great little, It was. it's definitely been most of my childhood creating the story for Summer's Twilight. Um, it was definitely, yeah, uh, it was good fun. We, we ran out of books to read, basically. We're like, oh, let's make our own. <laughs> so that's where that came out. Um, so the printables. Um, these are currently available on my Gumroad right now. You can buy a whole, the whole bundle. Um, but, yeah, you'll have the meal planner. Um, got the sort of a week week at a glance. Um, it does also include the, the Monday to Sunday and also the, the Saturday to Sunday. This we'll just have month there it won't be labeled with a month so you just have to you can either use texture or highlighter to just fill in the month if you are a patreon of mine um you do have access to the the monthly printables that i do each month um so they will look something like this and they're already pre-done and as you can see i i do use these it's it's no lie <laughs> I've actually used quite a lot of them. Um, I do enjoy being organised and definitely these have been something I've made for myself. Uh, the daily is down the bottom. Um, these ones do also include like a social media post. So this is probably more content creator. Um, once again, like I said, I, I do use these. I do find them really fun. I do have a, a, a revised version of these, um, which... I have actually made up into a pad. Um, these look like this. <clears throat> so I have three designs. It's sort of a clouds. More of an aesthetic thing. And a kitten. Um, these are currently up in my shop. I make them all myself. Um, bind them myself. They've just got a 200 GSM bit of card backing as the back. Um, so they, they're not... They're not horribly intrusive, um, and you can sort of keep them on your desk and keep yourself organised. Once again, I love these. These are great. I, I use them a lot, <laughs> one form or the other. Um, so, yeah, I have definitely got a lot of value out of them myself. <clears throat> um, it does also include monthly, month at a glance. Uh, once again, the Monday to Sunday, which I have two copies of here for some reason. I'm personally a Monday to Sunday person. I don't tend to organise Sunday to Saturday, um, but obviously I know there's people out there that do. It does include a goals, um, any lists that, like special occasions you think you've got to put there. Um, obviously, once again, social media posting, so this can be used for content creators. Just put your key there and then... Oh, I know I've got two. That one cut off a little bit. Yeah, just play around with your printer settings. Um, these are PDFs, so whatever your PDF... Um, displayer is you just have to tell it what to do to print the right setting now this one is for travelers journals um, obviously blank you write your own month there You've got plenty of room down the side obviously the fold will go like that um, and this little extra bit down the bottom you would cut that and so you'll have there we go you'll have an extra list which obviously you've got to cut that off um, so yeah you can just shove that somewhere in your, in your travelers journal uh, yeah, so there's those. Once again, I do use all these. Obviously, these are outdated ones just because I had some sensitive content on there. Um, currently, also, what is currently in the shop is... So, these are the dots. These are three centimetres. Um, and they're just... These are a little streaky, actually. So I have I have a few different um, designs. Uh, I've got this one. So this is the spring days. Um, dreamy, a lot of pinks, purples, and blues. Uh, moonlight. This is just all the wolves. The wolves are pretty cool. And there is purple sky. I actually don't have this one listed just because there's a couple of 
printer faults in it. Um, however, I'm happy to part with this one. So if you do want the purple days, um, it is just a little streaky and there is just that the mark in that top one. So as long as you don't mind those and you think you can use most of these, um, just pop your DM um, and this will be on the way to you. Um, once these do sell out, um, I'm probably not going to have many of these on stock just because I had a little bit of trouble keep sourcing this sticker paper. Um, so what's actually going to replace those? So I'll keep the same designs, they're just going to be a little bit smaller. So we're going to go to 2.5 centimeters. So still pretty cute. I've changed up the format of the sticker. Um, I've got here, I think there's only one I'm missing. Yeah, so the spring days. The same sticker, just in a slightly different format, slightly smaller. Uh, this is what the purple sky should look like. And they are printed on glossy paper, so they do have a little bit of a gloss. Uh, there is no extra coating on these, so don't go emerging these in water. <laughs> I wouldn't guarantee it. They're not meant to be waterproof. Uh, this one also does have a bit of a defect in it, so this one might go for cheap at a con. Um, otherwise, if you do want this one, I can do it slightly discount. Just DM me. Um, and that's the last one. So these are the ones that will be uh, replacing the three centimeter ones. Um, these will be going up into the shop very shortly too, because I do have these on stock. Um, another thing I have been experimenting, actually no, these ones here are in, got these ones. So these are actually quite cool. I, I <laughs> These are one of my favorites. I love the line work and the slight gradient in these. So these are currently also up in the shop at the moment. So you can grab, jump in there and snag a copy for yourself. Um, another thing I do also have is so these so this gradient isn't the best printed um, but I do will also pop these ones up shortly a variety actually no I think these are in the shop right now I think I updated that when I got back from the con so this is also one of um, the junicorn theme and also it's quite the um, current theme of my whole sort of the market that I went to which was it was fun it, I like the colors I like the gradient and I think I was, I was very proud of that background which is why it's become such a such a thing uh, these will be coming up in the shop shortly I won't have a ton of these available um, but this is sort of the the same once again the color but it's got the alphabet um, there also let me know do you prefer all and plus a few blank ones do you prefer caps capital letters so like these or do you mind or do you use much lowercase letters um, and numbers I just put them there because I had the room to uh, but for future sheets I'll be looking to revise this a little bit more and also just a, a gradient one done with a typewriter font once again same format it's got capitals the lower cases um, and the numbers not really much punctuation. I guess while I'm on the topic of stickers, I do will we'll also pop in a munchy sticker pack. Um, so these are little fun size sticker packs. I will see if I can find the what stickers they have in it. So it includes these six in this sticker pack. So it has a come on, focus web camera. Might need to do this again, this whole thing again with my phone. So I have the hamburger, sort of a baking set, um, a Donbury, sort of a sub, sandwich, and that could be just like a curry. Uh, so that's that little pack. And I also have some of the ponies from the zine. So these ponies I have also made into stickers. So that's them there. Um, this is them. As a die cut. Don't fret that I've got plastic. These baggies are all um, recycled. They're just from the stuff I got stock. So these are lovely matte feel to them. Once again, they're matte, they're not coated in any way, um, so I wouldn't recommend putting water on them. Um, other stickers I will have are these square ones, or rectangle ones. Uh, 
also how do you do your sticker storage guys come on this is Etsy shop owners so I have to I would love to see your sticker storage because that's driving me nuts and I plan to have a lot more coming up so these will be coming to the shop well so the same paper as the, the my little old ponies um, the mat my little uh, little unicorns I don't know why I'm saying double it was the same print as the other one same same pony and they'll have some rectangle ones as stickers So they're the stickers that are, are coming. Um, I will also have some Lucky Dips. So these are here. I've got a few different ones available. Um, I'm not sure what our price point these at yet. But yeah, there's a lot of value in these. I love Lucky Dips, so I did make sure that obviously I put something in those. I would definitely want to like blindly spend the money on and I, something I would be happy with um, so I think I've definitely achieved something there if I may say so myself definitely recommend grabbing those um, obviously they're all unique once they do sell out I obviously unless I make the same sticky mistakes again um, it won't have the same stuff in it anymore um, and also these I'm looking to bring to the store as prints as well once again they're the unicorns they will be coming And looking by a setup, lastly, I do have some bookmarks. So these are all assorted backgrounds. If you want, you can comment like what you would prefer as a backing. Um, and if I have it in the the front, the front print that you want, um, I will make sure to give that to you. Otherwise, it will be assorted. So I've got these. These um, these are just the bookmarks by themselves. They're printed on, I think it's 200 GSM paper. And then I also have a bookmark bundle, which just comes with, a, so it's, a, it's like the munchie stickers, um, but done with pastel backgrounds. Um, all the stickers are the same. Um, and once again, you just make a preference of what, what face you want, um, or the option will be for what face you want. Plus, if there is a particular background you want, just sort of mention it. Um, otherwise, all the stickers will be the same. So these will all be popping into the shop shortly. Um, keep keep an eye out for those. Um, so yes, there are all my social medias um, there below. I'll have them also linked below. Um, but I do have a Patreon, which as I mentioned, you can get the free downloadables um, from any tier. So you can just jump on there and just do a quick support um, and they'll be all available to you each month um, yeah and connect with me on social media tag me in your unboxings I love to see these um, so yeah <laughs> it's always exciting to see where all my stuff ends up I hope everyone has a great day stay safe out there don't get sick like me if you do look after yourself plenty of orange juice exercise it's important and hydration don't forget that hydration drinking water is my favorite thing Bye for now, guys.